So in this video, I'm going to be introducing you to correlation. Now this is a concept really you should have met before and have a vague understanding of. The type of data that we're looking at is um, data that is in pairs and can then be graphed as such to determine whether there is any correlation between the two. So you may well understand the concept of positive correlation. So here are a couple of examples of positive correlation. Where you can see that the data is going from the bottom left to the top right in both cases. However, in this case, uh, you can see that the, the points are much more in a line than in this case. From going from bottom left to top right, we would call this positive correlation. And this would also be positive correlation. So, this, because they are closer to being a straight line, would be referred to as strong positive correlation. And this correlation might be considered to be moderate positive correlation to weak. Okay. If you get to the point then where the points are all over the shop, then it appears that there is no connection between the two. And so we would refer to this as no correlation. And then we can have the opposite. So you can start to have points that are going from the top left to the bottom right. And if you extend that further, then you can see that you could have them in a straight line going from the bottom left to the top right. So this would be a moderate negative correlation. And this would be strong negative correlation. Now I talked about these being um, descriptors of how connected two things are. So, for example, strong positive correlation, uh, where one increases, the other increases. Okay, so as, as I go along this axis, I am increasing along this axis. If they were completely on a straight line, then it would be like a formula for, say, Celsius and Fahrenheit, for example. For example. But we're more thinking about topics like um, uh, height and weight of a certain group of people. So, height and weight, the taller someone gets, the heavier they get, for example. We would expect that to be around moderate positive correlation. Then, if I was looking at uh, graphing um, people's IQ against uh, where they live, their house number, then you would expect that their house number and their IQ to have no correlation whatsoever. So you would have people with very high IQs at a uh, number three house, and then uh, you could have very people with very high IQs at number 200. It doesn't matter where you live, okay, uh, for the number of the house. So you'd expect there to be no correlation between the two. Over here, in negative correlation, you might be looking at something like... Um, the uh, more rainfall there is, the fewer um, ice creams that are sold at the beach, for example. So if there was an ice cream seller, then they would expect the more rainfall, the less ice creams they're going to sell. Okay, so as one increases, the other decreases. So that would be considered negative correlation. So what I'm going to do next, in the next video, is look at how we can start to assess and describe each of these uh, numerically, okay? So that's going to be in the next video.